A very good evening to you and a warm welcome to BRTV News presentation. I am Ngamarju Jarafu with the news. Governor Babagana Umar Azulim has officially flagged off his 2023 governorship campaign with a commitment to do more in transforming Borno and better the lives of the citizens. The event took place today at the Ramat Square amidst thousands of people from all nooks and crannies of the state and beyond in attendance. Government House correspondent Abdul Salam Muhammad reports. Flagging of the 2023 governorship campaign, Borno State Governor Professor Babagana Omar Azulum expressed gratitude to Allah for making it possible for him to record tremendous success in the last three and a half years. The governor recalled that as part of its achievements, the administration has executed 120 capital projects in 100 days, 306 projects in one year, 556 and over 600 projects in the second and third years respectively. However, he said to him, his greatest achievement is the significant return of peace in the state as a result of the resilience of people and their resistance against Boko Haram insurgents, including spiritual activity, which paved way for the insurgents to surrender in their numbers. Governor Babagana Omar Azulum father said he will be more satisfied if he was able to do more for the people of Borno State beyond providing 200 primary health care centers, 10,000 houses for returnees, recruitment of over 700 doctors and medical personnel, and about 1,000 teachers in the preceding years. We plan to sustain and enhance our focus on reconstruction and settlement, on health care, on water supply, on Western and Islamic education, on agriculture, road infrastructure, above all, on security of lives and property. Our politics is that of the government. We we'll plan to work and work until the last minute of our second term in Shana. Professor Zulum also assured that if given the second mandate, he will ensure that areas that were not adequately covered in terms of provision of government projects are given the desired priority. He then urged the people of Borno to cast their votes for all APC candidates. APC State Chairman Ali Bukar Dalori observed that the unprecedented developmental strides recorded by the Zulum administration will make it easy for the All Progressives Congress to clinch all the available elective offices across the state. Former Borno State Governor Senator Maina Ma'ajilawan, Senator Ali Modu Sharif, Minister of State for Agriculture Mustafa Babashihuri, Executive Chairman Tashari Education Trust Fund Matawal Likashim Ibrahim Imam, former Chief of Army Staff General Tukuru Yusuf Buratai, Senator Mohamed Alindume, Barrister M.T. Mongono, Barrister Kakashehu Lawan, Speaker Borno State House of Assembly Abdul Karim Lawan, APC Women Leader Party Al Kalika Kinna, and the Youth Leader of the Party Mohamed Babandoki all took turn to deliver goodwill messages. They all paid glowing tribute to Governor Babagana Omar Zulum for his uncommon achievements in the state within the last three and a half years of his stewardship. They all admitted that Borno is proud of the governor and urged the people of the state to come out en masse and cast their votes for all APC candidates to ensure landslide victory of the party, and in particular, for Borno to have the vice president of the Federal Republic. In a board of thanks, Borno State Deputy Governor Alhaj Umar Osman Kada for thank those who came from far and near to grace the event, assuring the people of Borno that Governor Babagana Omar Zulum will not disappoint them if given another mandate. The governorship campaign flag off was attended by the wife of the APC vice presidential candidate, Mrs. Nare Shatima, serving and former National and State Assembly members, wife of the Borno State Governor Dr. Palmato Babagana Omara, Alhaji Gambo Lawan, national executive members of the APC, and former deputy governors, among others. Abdul Salam Muhammad reporting. Meanwhile, the national chairman of the All Progressive Congress says APC in Borno will campaign based on the achievement of Governor Babagana Umar Azulum in his first term, which made it easy for the party to record resounding victory in the next year's general election. Correspondent Abdul Salam Muhammad reports that the national chairman stated this today while speaking at the APC Governorship 2023 campaign flag of interstate. The report. APC National Chairman Senator Abdullah Adam, represented by the Deputy National Chairman North, Senator Abubakar Kari, noted that the party is proud of Governor Babagana Omar Azulum, who he described as an epitome of duty. He said, we should all be proud of, our, of ourselves for having such an abiding trust and confidence in our amiable Governor 
His Excellency Professor Babangara Omar Zulu, who has proven beyond doubt that he is the epitome of duty, service, and what democracy, democracy stands for. He also called on the people to go and collect their PVCs to be able to vote for Senator Kashim Shatima as the vice presidential candidate and all other APC candidates. Abdusalam Muhammad reporting. The new permanent secretary, Ministry for Religious Affairs, Al Haji Baba Gana Kadei, has taken over the affairs of the ministry from the acting permanent secretary, Hassan Abdullahi Hassan. The event took place at the conference hall of the ministry amid staff, friends, relatives, and well wishes. The report. Speaking before handing over, the acting permanent secretary, Hassan Abdullahi Hassan, said the ministry has three organizations under it, which include Borno State Preaching Board, Pilgrims Welfare, Arabic and Sangaya Boards. He said the ministry has constructed appreciable number of places of worship, include Central Mosque in Bama, Ayo, while that of Gamborungala is ongoing. He assured the support and cooperation of the staff to the new permanent secretary and thank Governor Zulum for his support to the ministry. Taking over the affairs, the new permanent secretary, Babagana Kade, thank Governor Babagana Umar Zulum for appointing him as permanent secretary of the ministry and pledged to justify the confidence bestowed in him by the government and people of Borno State. He said he will consolidate from where the acting permanent secretary staffed in line with the policies and programs of the Zulum State administration while pledging to cooperate with the commissioner of the ministry, Baba Ganakade called on the staff to give him maximum support to enable him achieve in his onerous assignment. Baba Ganakade used the forum to appreciate Governor Zulum for giving reliable hope to the people of the state through restoring fees, reconstruction of destroyed communities, as well as return of IDFs to their ancestral homes. Contributing Director of Religious Affairs of the Ministry, Al Hadi Umar Ali, described the event as historic, said the ministry has six directorates with departments of religious affairs as mainstream of the ministry, which handle all religious activities across the state. Umar Ali said the ministry, in collaboration with the Ministry of Women Affairs, have rehabilitated and reintegrated thousands of repentant Boko Haram. High point was the handing and taking over between the acting permanent secretary and the new permanent secretary, Babagana Kadei. Abba, News. Similarly, the new permanent secretary, Ministry of Reconstruction, Rehabilitation and Resettlement, Al Haji Amadu Umara, has formally assumed office. The report sent in by the Information Unit of the Ministry is presented from our studio. Speaking after taking over from the acting permanent secretary, Mohammed Habib Komi, thank Governor Zulum for the confidence reports in him, adding, with the caliber of staff in the ministry, he is confident of succeeding on his new assignment. The permanent secretary then solicited the cooperation and support of the entire staff to actualize the administration's policy and programs. In a remark, Abdurrahman Abdul Karim described the new permanent secretary as a man of prudent integrity and commended the governor for posting the right person to the ministry, contributing the acting permanent secretary who is also Director Administration and Supply, Mohamed Habib Kaumi, and the Technical Advisor, Mr. Vitrus Michelia, assured the support of all staff to the new Permanent Secretary. Speaking on behalf of Press, Bosefa General Manager Abu Bakar Suleiman described the Permanent Secretary as honest and humble person. High point was exchange of signing and taking over notes. Palmata Abba, BRTV News. The State Coordinator National Human Rights Commission, Barista Jumai Usman Mashelia, has stressed the need to stand against human rights violation. Barista Mashelia stated this while speaking at the commemoration of 75th International Human Rights Day held today at Pinnacle Hotel, Majigari. Abba Ramat completes the report. In a current address, the State Coordinator National Human Rights Commission, Barista Jumai Usman Mashelia, lauded effort of those who supported the commission in ensuring rights of citizenry are protected and wish all fruitful deliberation. Speaking on advancing human rights and reflection from the 16 days of activism, the UNFPA DEX officer, Mr. Emmanuel, said human rights are universal, lamenting that women and girls' rights are always violated in communities affected by crisis. 
On their part, the UNICEF representative, Ms. Ngoyen, and the UNDP area coordinator, Lillian Dauha, said, the essence of commemorating the Human Rights Day is to ensure that all persons' fundamental rights are protected, stressing that most often than not, women and children's rights are abused. Also speaking, Salamo to Kemokai, representing the UN women, implored the public to stand against human rights violations, adding that everybody is entitled to their rights. In their goodwill messages, the State Commissioner of Police, Abdul Umar, Commandant Civil Defense Corps, Farouk Musa, Controller Migration Services, Representative of Theater Commander Operation Hadi K, Brigadier General Abu Bakr, Custom Service Assistant Controller Maidugu Baba, and that of Correctional Center at Taishi Rukari all assured their support to fight against violation of human rights. They implored the public to seek for redress whenever their rights are infringed, saying they have DEX officers in all their respective organizations. On their part, representative of the Ministry of Women Affairs, Falmata Umar Lawan, civil society organizations Muhammad Wuyo, and traditional institutions, Shetima Lawan, assured to stand up for human rights, stressing that human rights violation issues are mostly caused by from security agents and politicians. In a word of thanks, the Principal Investigation Officer of National Human Rights Commission, Saidu Adamu, appreciated all for gracing the occasion and the donor partners for success of the program. The event featured drama presentation and speeches by students as well as plenary session to discuss on challenges of human rights and how to address such issues. Abaramat, BRTV News. Borno State Government, through the Ministry for Reconstruction and the Multisectoral Crisis Recovery Project, MCRP, has commenced a full-day capacity building program for state and local government planning officers on effective project monitoring and evaluation towards sustainability and ownership of public facilities. The training which took place at Amani Event Hall in Mejigiri was attended by over 270 participants, runs from ministries, agencies and 27 local government areas. Details of the report are presented from our studio. Declaring the training open, the state project coordinator of the MCRP, Baba Zan Abdul Karim, said, the state government is ready to ensure that all projects executed in local government areas are executed in line with the best standard required and kept functional for the benefit of all. The era of abundant or uncompleted project, he said, is over in Borno State, hence the need for all directors of planning, monitoring and evaluation across the state to be actively involved. This, he said, informed Governor Zulum to reorganize, strengthen and provide a befitting complex under his office to provide conducive working atmosphere for monitoring and evaluation officers and ensure proper coordination of projects. First and foremost, the reason why we're doing this is to ensure good governance. Uh, I can share with you that uh, this administration, uh, His Excellency's efforts towards good governance has been very, very visible in the, in the financial uh, sector. The integrated financial management system has been put in place and every time you put up these parameters that will monitor, assess you and make you very visible of all the things that you do to the general public. The MCRP under the governor's watch, he said, will help ensure functionality of all government projects stressing that Monitoring and evaluation adds value to good governance in line with financial discipline of the governor. According to him, the state has done a lot and MCRP will serve as bridge to design M&E2 for local government offices to perform their duties of feeding their zonal offices that will soon be established about the problems of lack of data in project executed by taking charge of project executed in their domains. Contributing the Technical Coordination Specialist of MCRP, Dr. Ali Umar Bashir, congratulated the participant for being worthy of the training, stressing that MCRP has carried out a lot of activities in health, transport, education, water, agriculture, and social cohesion. Borno MCRP will continue to interface with you to assist us in monitoring and evaluating all projects undertaken by MCRP in your respective local government area. 
while urging them to use the skills gained for the benefit of all. Dr. Ali Umar Bashir also assured of more trainings in the future. On his part, advisor to the governor on reconstruction, Dogo M. Shatima, assured the readiness of Borno state government to carry out more public beneficial projects across the state to consolidate on the gains so far achieved. Similarly, the monitoring and evaluation officer of MCRP Borno state, Bako Al Haji Shaibu, noted that monitoring and evaluation is critical towards ensuring successful completion of projects and their functionality in any community. He said, monitoring and evaluation will also help reduce wastage of public funds and encourages community engagement and participation, which will ensure ownership. Earlier, the lead consultant Suleiman Doda said, effective monitoring and evaluation entails collecting and analyzing the project information, harmonizing all state and local government projects, identifying their challenges and proffering solutions to them. Maintaining high standard and ensuring judicious use of resources alongside milestone of the project, he added, are critical component of monitoring and evaluation. There is a lot of project that has been implemented either by Borno State Government or by donors or by other partners that are working in the state. These projects, they need to be monitored, they need to be functionally functional, they need to be utilized and they need to make the desired impact that they were implemented for. The training, he said, is to provide continuous and equal capacity building opportunity for both state and local government officials for improved performance and ensure that projects executed by government and its partners are regularly supervised, optimally functional and properly maintained. He said, it will also equip the participant with basic tools and techniques for continuous effective monitoring and evaluation of projects. Alhaji Karemi Babakura and Habiba Ladi Ademu are some of the participants who describe the training as timely, impactful, and of mutual benefits to all stakeholders. Ngamarju Jarafu, BRTV News. Bola Ahmed Tenebu and Shatima Organization Batishe has commenced three day free medical outreach to public. The free medical outreach is going on at Umaru Show Hospital and Umarari Primary School, Mejigiri. Abdullahi Hairella has more on the story. The aim of the free medical outreach is to help and meet the health needs of the people of Borno as the Tophia insurgency has adversely affected the healthcare system of the state. It is against this backdrop that the Bola Ahmed Tinubu Shetima organization has in the spirit of solidarity and support to the presidential candidature of Bola Tinubu Kashim Shetima ticket organized a three-day free medical outreach which will be benefited by over 5,000 residents of the state. Speaking during the exercise, the Director of Medical Services of the State Ministry of Health, Dr. Ibrahim Ngulde, who conducted the members of the organization around various units and wards of the hospital, described the intervention as timely considering the adverse effect of the insurgency in the health sector of the state. He added that the state government under the leadership of Professor Babagana Omarazulum has recorded remarkable achievements in the health care service delivery by constructing infrastructures and commended the Batishe for the life-saving intervention. In her remark, the coordinator Batishe Free Medical Outreach, Barista Nurat Adebayo, said the exercise is going on at Umarusheo Hospital and Umarari Primary School, which will attend to health needs of 5,000 people. She noted that the group is a non-governmental organization formed solely to promote the political course and candidature of Bola Tinibu Shetima come 2023 elections. Um, sector of the economy needs some intervention. Hence, we decided to intervene in some of these things, particularly by giving access to medical treatment for less privilege, by ensuring that um, some of these people that have been on the waiting list in the hospitals but are not able to afford the monies for the surgeries. She said if given the mandate, Bola Tinibu administration will prioritize and turn around the country's health sector for the better, as he demonstrated when he was governor of Lagos State. Contributing, the group's head of medical team, Dr. Afolabi Ogunderu, said the medical outreach is basically a holistic package for health support to the vulnerable as well as the IDPs across the state towards actualizing the ideals of Tinibu Shetima vision. He also said the organization has procured various kits such as 3,000 eyeglasses, drugs as well as mosquito nets to curb the spread of malaria. Some of the beneficiaries were full of joy for the kind gesture and pledged to reciprocate by voting for not only Bola Ahmed Tinibu but all APC candidates come 2023 general elections. Abdullah Khairallah, 
BR TV News. The Vice Chairman Marte Loku Government, Mohamed Abubakar Jibril, has called on the people of the area to continue to support Zulum's administration for total restoration of peace to reign in the state. Mohamed Abubakar Jibril met the call yesterday while distributing clothing materials to IDPs of the area at Muna area. Detail of the report is presented from our studio. The vice chairman said Governor Zulum is doing a lot to see that people of Marte are resettled and to ensure total peace to reign, hence the call on all to support him. Mohammed Abubakar Jibrin urged them to obey constituted authorities while in Marte, as government is doing everything possible to make life bearable, adding he intended to extend his widow's might in that direction to complement the effort of the governor. The assistance includes... 52 wrappers to women while another 52 clothing materials for men as they are returning home and wish them Allah's guidance and protection. Contributing APC chairman of the area, Abbatar Weldama, thank the vice chairman for the gesture and urge other stakeholders to emulate him. Secretary of the local government and that of the APC all acknowledged the assistance of the vice chairman for the vulnerable while others commended the donor for the kind gesture. Adam Adauda reported. That's BRTV News. Join us tomorrow for more reports. Until then, have a good night.